Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to another amazing, incredible episode of MacBreak Studio. Here we are in downtown Petaluma at the Pixel Core Studios. And with me is Mark Spencer. And we're excited to talk to you about an editor's favorite subject, transitions. Transitions. Uh, there's a new transition yeah. feature in 10.0.1, which is part of their incremental update, but it's quite a significant update. You're going to... It uh, is. Gonna, yes, it, it is. is. It is. I was just going to mention when you say transitions, I know when I teach Final Cut, I, I introduce transitions and I say, so here's the deal with transitions. Don't use them. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> well, no. it's a starting point because generally they can get overused. And, and when you're new to editing, people just throw them everywhere. It's like when desktop publishing came out and everybody used every kind of font they possible because it was there. Right. And like transitions when treated with respect and used in, in you know, you know, well, you know, transitions are actually like swear words. They're most effective when used sparingly. Yes, yes, very good. Right. So, but mm -hmm. there's a good news about the Final Cut Pro 10.0.1 update, right? Because right? previously in Final Cut Pro 10, if you wanted to add a transition to a connected clip, right. so not to a clip on the primary storyline, but to a connected clip, you what couldn't. Would you, have to do? you couldn't, because right. you had to... Well, the, the the transition had to be part of a secondary connected storyline. Yeah, line. so you had to do this this making a secondary storyline. So you would have to maybe select these clips and choose to uh, make them a secondary storyline, create a storyline. I'll choose that and I'll undo that. So it creates them and then you can add a transition. Right. So for instance, here I have some clips that are part of a secondary storyline. So if I select an edit point and hit Command T, you I got get a transition. a transition. So that's worked the same as it did in 10.0.0. Right. But now what's kind of cool is here I have a clip by itself. And usually if you have multiple clips together, you might want to make them into a secondary storyline. So you can move, move them, them together as a group. And, yeah. and whatnot. Uh -huh. But here I have a clip by itself. I'm not really interested in making a secondary storyline. So why do I have to go through two operations? Well, I don't anymore. Sure. Right? I can just select an edit point, Command T. And I oh, get my transition. Look at that. And it made a secondary storyline, yes. connected storyline, all in one fell swoop. It did both for me in one shot. Wow. Made that story, secondary storyline and added the transition. So, for instance, if I select all of these clips that are independent connected clips, Got right? it. they're not a, a secondary storyline, I hit Command T and huh, look at that. transition on all of them, as well as they are now a secondary storyline. Now line. you can move that whole thing as a group. Yep. And treat it, treat it as an independent unit. So, you know, n not, a, not a huge thing, but a nice time saver. It was a little, a little bit annoying to have to do both steps, and now both right at once. Excellent. In fact, it, it even works on video. Now, it might not be the best way you want to transition. You don't have as many options, you but you can command T oh, right that. on video. It looked, it, you mean audio. Oh, audio. Yeah, yeah. What is that green stuff? <laughs> it's audio. <laughs> so, yeah, but look at that. It made a, a, a secondary connected audio storyline, yep. and it actually added the transition. transition. I can see though the, the one downside of doing it that way is that you lose the ability to actually get your different fade types. Right. You know, like your uh, li yeah, your linear, your yeah, uh, all your different fade options are not available when you do it that way. This one already has a fade. Uh, yeah, that one already has here. a fade on it. So, um, a quick and nice little easy, just a, a little extra, you know, up part of the update of 10.0.1. But it saves you time. It does, and, and that's it, when you're doing a lot of editing. That's what it's all about. Yeah, saving time. So now that you can, now that you know how to add a transition, one click, go, go crazy, knock yourself out. Use as many transitions as you possibly can, whenever you can, and your stuff will look totally pro. I'm Steve from Ripple Training, and this is Mark Spencer. We thank you for watching another episode of Mac Briggs Studio.